G'day folks, Bob Brown here and I'm doing this interview for I Love My Country TV. With me is a winner of a Meet and Greet award, Dane Sharp. How you doing? I'm, d I'm doing good mate. <laughs> You've got the biggest grin I've ever seen. <laughs> oh well, um, yeah look, I, I wasn't sure this year. We had some pretty stiff competition, 8-Ball Aiken, Luke O'Shea, Adam Toms, there was all sorts of people in there. So yeah look, it, it's awards are a nice little stop and go hey, look back at all the hard work we've done. So yeah, the grin's staying. It doesn't get any tougher than that lineup, does it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, they're all good blokes and everyone's got a different style. So you can't really pick a winner, I think, but uh, it sounds a bit cliche, but you know, everyone does their own thing. It's just great. So um, yeah, I I'm just stoked. Dane, tell me about Tamworth and your experience this year. We're just uh, great, lucky to be here this year. Last year was uh, obviously the floods from Queensland. Um, we come down as a, as a trio, myself, Caroline Taylor Knight and Jessica Townsend with the whole Touchwood band and we set up a stage just outside the trek so last year we were running two days late so we couldn't get through the floods so yeah look it's just a relief that we're here this year we're actually early a day early and set up and um, yeah it's nice it, it, I can't believe it's been a year but um, so much has happened and but uh, in some ways it feels like yesterday but uh, great to be here. Mate, it is incredible how quick it goes. I, I just feel Tamworth this year's got a, got its, its heartbeat back. Absolutely, it seems like the crowds are up, you go down Peel Street, that buzz is there again and mm. like I said, I think um, there's, there's, Queensland has a lot of country music fans obviously, I think as a percentage, somebody said 30% or something of last year couldn't make it, so I think obviously those people are back and, and the buzz is back and the, uh, the country vibe's happening again. It's really buzzing now, how do you feel about your award, best male? Yeah, most popular male, which is great, so um, yeah, look... Uh, I get a lot of help. We do a little thing called Homebrew TV, which is uh, run by Donny, who's hanging around over there. He's in the band as well, and, and we put out a behind the scenes once a month and what's been going on. And we, you know, we've, it's been very popular. We're getting a lot of hits on that too. So I think a lot of people are starting to follow that, which is uh, which is great, and that's been a lot of fun. Whether it's a, you know, last one was all the bloopers and all the funny stuff, and um, ones before that have been sort of what's been happening with film clips and all that kind of stuff so keeps people in the loop and I guess that's what's good about the the Facebook kind of thing now is you can keep people in the loop and and uh, and, and they can feel part of it as well so I think that's really helped. So. Yeah. Winning an award that's been done by the fans, how much does that mean to you compared to say something that's been judged by your peers? Absolutely, That's it's it, for me it is the mo one of the most important things because the fans, without fans you don't have anything really so um, you know, it's one fan at a time for me, wherever we go, wherever we play, that's, to me that's what they're all about. They, they run this business for me, so um, yeah, to win that from them is, is such a special thing.